What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an achievement walkthrough for Moving Out. This game released onto the Xbox One April 28, 2020 for a price of $24.99 but it's actually on Xbox Game Pass so if you have that you can play it for free. It's also on Windows 10 and it has a, a stack so you can get all the achievements twice. You can get a thousand all on Xbox and then you can get another thousand on Windows 10. So I'm going to go through the 30 levels and show you where all the collectibles and everything is that you need to collect. I'm just going to go through them quickly. When you start this game, you can enable assist mode. You can put on longer times, objects disappear on delivery, reduce the difficulty, and also make items lighter. And that will make the game very easy to go through and get gold on everything. So gold won't be the issue. I just want to point out all the collectibles. So we're going to go through each level. The first level that you start on is Holly's Home. After you finish a level, it will show you what the objectives are. You can actually do the objectives the first time you play a level if you know what they are. Which will make it easier so you can play the level less times. Some of the levels you have to play more than once, depending on the objectives. I'm going to go over all the objectives, especially if they're vague or hard. Some levels have mailboxes and toilets that you need to uh, interact with. You need to smack all the mailboxes. This level has a mailbox and a toilet, so smack the mailbox, then stand on the toilet. The objectives are one for breaking all the glass and one for not breaking glass, so you gotta do it twice. The other one's for the flamingos, you gotta throw the flamingos in the truck. The hidden console's in the top left corner behind the bush. You just throw that on the truck, it's not gonna disappear, but that's what you need to do on each level, is get the hidden console. Alright, on to the next level. This one has a pet that we need to uh, deliver, the turtle. There's also a vase that you don't want to knock over, and uh, the other one is goal. You just have to push the soccer ball into the net. Alright, so we got the mailbox here in the front, smack this. Then we got the toilet that we need to stand on over here. The hidden console is under this table. And also, the turtle is walking around. This is the pet. And you just throw him on. Some pets still move around after you put them on, so you might want to put them on last or put something there to trap them on it. But yeah, there we go. On to the next level. Shoot some hoops. Pets stay outside and don't break any windows. Alright, so we have the mailbox here that you need to smack. There's a basketball net over here. You just need to uh, shoot it in. Just hold X and try to get the crosshair close to the net. There's an achievement for getting it in as well. You got the toilet over here to stand on. Back here is the hidden console on the hammock. And then also there's a pet that's in this house here. There's a chicken. The objective is to not let him in the house. So as soon as you get him out, pick him up. And then you can bring him and put him on the truck. Alright, next level. Poolside pad. This one is a little annoying, but it's not too bad. The don't hold the box is a little annoying, but I'll show you what to do. One of the objectives is to jump over the pool, so you gotta put the chair here and jump over. But uh, the chair gets wet from doing that, so you won't get the one for keeping everything dry. This is the toilet. It's the only thing in this level that you have to do. There's no mailbox. The hidden console, though, is over here on this counter. Now for the other objectives, you have to keep everything dry, so you have to do a run where nothing goes in the water. You can throw things over the water. If you hold X and then press A to jump, you can easily clear them. You can't throw these red ones, they'll break. Now for the one objective, you have to not hold for three seconds, so you have to keep going. And you have to fully stop and then drop it. If you are moving and you drop it, the box will break. Alright, there we go. So let's go to the next one. Next is Jerry's Apartment. And uh, this one, we have to don't break any glass, don't break any objects, and give a bird a bath. Alright, so slap the mailbox. This is the bird, the flamingo. All you have to do is just drop him in the bathtub. Which is up here in this green tub, so just drop him. These red boxes, the fragile boxes, are the ones that you don't want to break for the uh, objective. So just be careful with these boxes. You don't want to throw them. They break easily. 
and then the hidden console is in the bathroom as well so you have that so just don't break any glass don't break the objects put the flamingo in the bathtub and get the console and slap the mailbox Casse de Cliff is the next one who let the goose out no stairs for you and break the windows all right first things first there's a mailbox over here that you're gonna smack this is gonna bring out the goose that you need so you can throw him on as well he runs after you the whole time anyway so you can wait till the end you don't want to go up the stairs you want to climb up the cliffs like I just did you got to break all the glass here's the toilet to stand on and then over here is the hidden console behind this car And there we go. Alright, the next level, Summer Chalet. This one you have to do multiple times. One of the objectives is no stairs. The other ones avoid the snow. And also you have to go snowboarding. Alright, first is the mailbox that we smack. Now we have different ways to go up. We have the stairs. And then we have these ways that have snow on them. So for one objective, you got to only go up using the snow. So you don't use the stairs. And the other objective, you got to only use the stairs. The other objective is for go snowboarding, which you just uh, take the snowboard over here and just put it down. And you just jump on it. Jump on it while it's going down and it should pop up. Now over in this room is the hidden console. And then also we got the toilet over here to stand on. All right, so the next level, 21 Slick Street. Don't get hit by a car, mess up the trophies, and don't get oily. The oily one was a little annoying. First up, we have the mailbox to slap. You're gonna get oily from slapping this, so we gotta do multiple runs. We got the sheep here, which is a pet we gotta bring with us. Over here, the top left is the hidden console. There's cars in this level that can run you over for the achievement, getting ran over 125 times. There's also another good level I'll show you. And here's the toilet. There's also the trophies you need to mess up, which are up here. And there we go. And then just to don't get oily, you just have to get the items and then just walk them around the oil and just don't touch the oil at all. All right, the next level is Snotsberry Farm. We need to uh, disturb the nest, avoid the rakes, and make some pen pals. All right, there's no mailbox and there's no toilet. Uh, but there's these uh, eggs up here we have to disturb for the objective. Just go and walk over all the eggs. You got to watch out for the rakes. If you step on the metal part, it will come up and hit you and hurt you. You can walk over the handle. The other one is to make pen pals. You need to take all the animals and put them into the top right pen. This one took me a little bit to figure out, but it's not that hard. So just get all the animals and just throw them to the top right over here. And then at the top left, all the way up here in the barn behind these haystacks is the hidden console. And that's pretty much it for this level. All right, the next level is Packmore River. This is like a frogger level. Ride a croc, get hit by a caffeinated driver, and bring the frog to the truck. So the frog's here at the beginning. He follows you around. There's a car that has a coffee cup on it. That's the caffeinated driver. You just have to have him run you over. The frog just follows you, so you just have to lead him over to the other side. He's also one of the pets. The hidden console's over here. This is the croc. You just have to walk on them. And that's it for this level. We do need to bring the pet, so make sure the frog gets to the truck. Alright, so the next level, the Atari office. <laughs> this one's a little bit of a pain because of the first objective, don't break any windows. It's very easy to break windows in this one. What you want to do is come over here and move this stuff out of the way. And then you can bring things through this larger opening. That's the only way you can do this one without breaking any glass. Some of the items are too big to fit through the doorways. That's why you need to uh, go through that opening, like this table. 
Up here is the trolley. It's very easy to break the glass with the trolley, so you might want to do it on different runs than not breaking the glass. And behind the trolley is the hidden console. See? Broke the glass. There's also another objective for the printer. We need to put the printer on the elevator. The printer is up here on the top left. Just need to pull it off the plug and then just pull it back through this way into the elevator. And there we go. That's it for this level. Also, you need to not smack the ghost. There's like four or five levels with ghost. And when you play through them the first time, you want to not smack them for an achievement. Next level, Dread Manor. We need to bust the ghost, deliver me his head, and mess up the artwork. For this one, you need to smack a ghost, but like I said, you don't want to smack any ghosts, so you can come back and do that objective later. Alright, so no mailbox, no bathroom. This is the helmet that we need to deliver for an objective. There's paintings on the wall you need to knock down. There's some here. The rest are in this room. Against this wall. The hidden console is also in this room. To smack the ghost, you just press X. But uh, like I said, I would save that for later after you get the achievement for not smacking any ghosts. Alright, so next level is Roundabout Mansion. Another level with ghosts. In this one, we need to hop across the pond, don't mess up any artwork, and don't get caught by the ghosts. This level is a little annoying because of the objective with the artwork. But uh, over here is the pond you jump over. And then over in this room, you can bring stuff back. Most of the level's artwork is in this room right next to it. And we have to bring this bed through it, so you got to be careful. What I did was actually break the door. You can keep slapping it, and then the door will come off. This way you can get the bed through easier. And you don't have to worry about the bed hitting anything. You can also break off these doors as well. Just watch out for the ghost. But yeah, breaking these off will make it a lot easier to get through. There's paintings around. You have to watch out for them as well. If they fall, then you have to uh, redo it. But yeah, it's not too bad. Just be careful. Try to go around the back ways and stuff. And uh, just watch out for the ghost. Over here is the toilet you want to stand on. And then uh, we have the hidden console, which is actually in the art room. It's in the bottom left corner here. And that's it for this level. So the next level is Abadah's Orchard. And uh, actually behind this level is a secret achievement. There's a mailbox hidden back here. You just have to run it over and you'll get an achievement. But yeah, let's go into this level. We need to avoid all the rakes, don't break the fragile item, and ride the turtles. This level is pretty easy. The hidden console is behind the truck under the hay bale, so you just got to push them out of the way. Throw this on the truck. There's an objective for uh, riding the turtles. There's four different turtles. You have to stand on all four of them. So that's two of them. There's another one that shows up a little higher, and then there's another one that shows up down here. The other objective is for not breaking the fragile item. This is the only fragile item. So just hit the button and then stand on the X to catch it. And then in this outhouse over here, press the button. It will open it up. The chicken's inside. It's one of the pets. And then there's the toilet in here you got to stand on. And this actually was my last one. So it's pretty easy. The other thing, just uh, avoid the rakes. Make sure you don't step on the metal part. Alright, the next level is Lenny's Mansion. We need to uh, clear the pier, don't step on any buttons, and smash the trophy case. Alright, so over here to the right is the pier. You just have to push the stuff off of it. Once you push it off, the objective will be done. The hidden console is right over here. Now the objective says don't step on any buttons, but we can still push them. So just put stuff on top of them and don't step on any. It's really not that bad. Over in this room, you really need to open up and get a lot of the stuff out this way. It's the easiest way to get things out. 
Now the other objective is for smashing the trophy case. The trophy case is over here. So just break this. And then also we got the toilet in here, so just stand on that. All right, so on to the next level, which is Neighborhood Watch HQ. In this level, we need to help a chicken fly, keep the chickens off the grass, and discover the weird secret. All right, this level's pretty easy. It's just bigger than it actually looks. The whole building to the right opens up. There's a little hole in the building all the way to the right. You wanna put something in front of that to make sure the chickens don't come out. I actually forgot to do that, but it's very easy to do, and that's how you'll get the objective for keeping the chickens off the grass. When you walk into this building, it will open up. Over here is a bulletin board. If you just walk by it, that's how you get the objective for the secret. Now the other objective is to make a chicken fly. So you just grab a chicken and you just go onto one of the fans with him. And when you fly in the air, you'll get that one. And then over here is the hidden console. So yeah, this one's pretty easy. You can even uh, open up the building over here but uh, you got to be careful of the chickens you might as well just pick them up first and uh, put them in so you don't have to worry about them next one is uh, deserted depot and this one we have to use only the middle delivery lane deliver all boxes first and then deliver all couches first so obviously you have to do this multiple times you have to do just boxes first and when it says boxes it's just the little boxes not those long ones and uh, also bring it in the middle lane be careful of these. You have to uh, take them down to make sure you don't put the couches on by mistake or vice versa. You can just jump up and then take them down. It will be much easier. Over here in the middle lane in the back behind the couch is the hidden console. And that's pretty much it for this level. Just make sure you put them all in the middle lane and then do couches and then do boxes and you'll be done. Next one is sealed storehouse. And in this one, we need to deliver all small crates first, get a workout, and don't take any items through any doors. All right, so this is an easy one for the objectives. We need to get a workout, so you just run on one of these conveyor belts until that pops. Deliver small boxes first, so just go around and get all the boxes first and make sure only the boxes go through. You can move these out of the way to make it easier. And then the other objective is to not put any items through the door, so just only use the conveyor belts which is pretty easy. You can't go through the conveyor belts, only you can go through the doors, but items can go through the conveyor belts. And then we have the hidden console, which is in this room in the bottom corner. And there we go. All right, so the next level is locked lever lab. And uh, this one, we need to smash the windows, take the couch outside, and use the levers only twice. And this one's actually pretty easy. So you want to only use this lever. That way you can bring stuff through this over here. And then you want to use this lever so you can open up the bottom left. The other one is for the couch. You need to take this couch and you need to bring it to the bottom left over here. And that will bring it outside. There we go. And then you need to break all the windows. So go around breaking all the windows. And then we have the hidden console, which is up here in the top left. And that's it for this level. So on to the next level, which is flamethrower factory. In this one, we need to not destroy any crates. Don't stand on the conveyor and crush the couch. Another easy one, the hidden console is right here in the bottom corner. Everything needs to go through this conveyor belt here, which you need to put on with the switch. Now one of the objectives we have to uh, put on this conveyor belt. So we destroy the couch. And then the other objective is for not destroying any crates. So there's going to be a few crates that show up on this conveyor belt and you need to keep taking them off to make sure they don't get destroyed. The other objective is for not standing on the conveyor belt. I think that means just like standing still because I went on it like a bunch of times and uh, I still got the objective. 
I just ran on it quickly to get the box. But yeah, that should be it. The next level is the chase, the one where we're on a train. You need to not fall off the train, complete the gaming area, and send a message to the gnome. The objectives in this one are a little vague. The first objective is just don't fall off the train, so just be careful the whole time. One of the objectives is we have to complete the gaming area. We have to take this system that's right at the beginning and bring it all the way to the end. So just carry it with you the whole time. This level's pretty easy. You just have to throw the boxes over to the truck. And as you uh, go through and clear out each cart, then you can move up ahead and the truck will follow you. Once you get to this one, there's a gnome in it. This one, we have to throw the gnome off the side. You have to time it right and throw it off and hit the radio tower. You'll see the power line and then you'll see the radio tower. It doesn't matter if you miss it, the gnome will keep respawning so you can keep retrying. Um, but it's pretty easy. The only thing is uh, you won't get a notification while you're playing that you uh, completed the objective if it's your first time going through the level. Um, the second time you go through it, you unlock the objectives and then when you hit it, it will pop up saying that you completed it. But you can do it the first time, just go through and you can see at the end if you hit it and you got the objective done. This is the hidden console, it's on this green truck, you gotta jump over to it, just be careful because you don't want to fall, that's one of the objectives. And then the last thing is just bringing the console to the end. You just put it over here by the controllers, and that's it. You'll be done with this level. So on to the next level, which is the floor is guava. The guava is lava, so don't let any of the items in the lava. Um, we need to ride the barrel, and then we also need to not touch any of the blue pattern uh, floor panels, which uh, is actually wrong. It's not the blue ones. I was stuck on this level and objective for a while. So it's actually wrong. For some reason they say the blue ones, so you'd think it would be the blue diamonds. It's actually the green squares you can't step on for some reason. So I'm going to show you what that means. First you got to bring these two items over first and then it will open up more of the level. On the bottom side down here, this is actually the barrel. So we need to ride on it. Just stay on it until the objective pops. The other objective is for not letting any of the items touch the lava. So just be careful when you're bringing the items over. It's a little tricky. Now the other objective is for not stepping on any of the blue platforms over here. Now you would think it would be the blue diamonds that just went down, but it's actually these green squares you can't step on. So just make sure you go around, only step on the yellow circles and the blue diamonds, and uh, don't step on any green squares. You need to uh, bring items across these so it's a little uh, difficult. But just know where the green squares are. You can take a picture if it helps you. And just don't step on them at all. And then also down here on this side is where the hidden console is. Alright, so that's it for this level. The next level is Stairway to Melon. In this one we need to take a shower, hit the pipe, and break all the glass. It's not really that bad. Um... The hidden console is right here, not very hidden. The glass is all around. Some of it's hard to see. So just go around breaking it. And then uh, we need to take a shower, which is actually this pipe leaking over here. Just stand under it. I actually had to stand on something and then just wait there for a while and then it eventually popped. Then the other one is for breaking the pipe. We need to pick up this box and throw it inside this pipe here. Just hold X, put the crosshairs in it, and you should be able to get it right in. And that's it for this level. So the next level is Guava Run. In this one, we need to not touch the guava, get pushed and survived, and then Ah Push It. Ah Push It is very vague, and it took me a while to figure it out. Behind this truck here is the hidden console. So just pick this up and put it in the truck. Now for the other ones, we need to, of course not let any items go in the guava so just be careful bringing them back we also need to let this thing push us and survive just keep standing there trying to let it hit you and try to not fall into the lava it's not too bad now the one that was kind of weird was this one ah push it you need to uh, take one of these small tubes and throw it at this uh, arm thing as it's closing and if you uh, throw it at the right time you should get the objective just keep trying it until it works and do it uh, when you have the objectives unlocked so that you'll get the notification.
Next is Satellite Base Alpha, which is pretty easy. Um, you need to uh, deliver each item. You put it in the middle and then press the button. So you need to do each one individually. You need to uh, deliver yourself, which I'll show you how to do. And you also need to jump over this fire here, which is pretty easy. The hidden console is right here. Now, let me show you how to deliver yourself. You can do it with uh, two controllers, which will be very easy. But uh, if you don't have two controllers, you can... Uh, place a pipe down here this thing moves back and forth so just set it up so that it's gonna move by and hit it and then you can just go in the middle and let it drop you down and that's what it looks like when you get a notification for completing one <laughs> alright so next one is revolution station now in this one we need to uh, crush a thing deliver everything via the left door and don't touch the moving walls now the hidden console is right here in the beginning in the bottom left corner. You have to be careful of not touching any moving walls. That was a little bit of a pain. Just try to avoid them. And then the other one is to crush a thing. So just put like uh, one of the tubes uh, somewhere so it can get crushed as it moves. On to the next one which is Guavatron. This one uh, was pretty easy. Don't use the levers. Deliver the boxes. Avoid the Guavatron and take the sheep home. So this is the Guavatron. We got the levers that change the direction of it, which we're not going to touch at all. Um, you can bring everything around. It won't be a problem. The boxes you actually have to throw across, though, because we can't bring them in the Guavatron. And then we got the sheep over here, which is uh, easy to just bring over. There's a toilet over here to stand on. And then in the top corner over here is the hidden console. And that's going to be it for this level. The next level is Contraband Cluster. And in this level, we need to not use the middle fan, not use any of the levers, and float for 10 seconds. You want to go around clockwise and use the floating island for the one to not use the levers so they can get around. Um, the hidden console is over here. You want to make sure you don't use the middle fan. And then the other one is uh, floating for 10 seconds, which you can do on this little fan that's right in front of the truck because it keeps going. The next level is Pack Rat Planet. And in this level, we need to hit a basketball shot, sit on the throne, and take the printer for a spin. So in this level, we need to uh, go around and uh, shut off the fire on the thing in the middle. So to do that, you just need to go and take these things off the buttons. And as we do that, the fire will shut off on the spinning platform in the middle. And you need to do that so that you can put the printer on there. And you can't put it on there with the fire. The other objective is for making a basketball shot. The basketball is right here. And the basketball net is in front of me here. So you have to try to throw it in. It takes a little bit of uh, trial and error, but it's not too bad. And then we got the hidden console, which is over here, and it's actually on a toilet. So try to get it, grab it, and throw it quickly. It's kind of uh, in an awkward spot and uh, easy to drop. But yeah, there's also a toilet to stand on. This is the printer that you want to put on the middle. So just drag it down here and put it in and let it go for a spin around the whole thing. And there we go. That's it for this level. Now on to the next level, which is actually the last level. The boss battle, and he's pretty easy. We need to get squished by the outhouse, throw something at him, and then survive 30 seconds during the flame fist part. Now all you have to do is just keep bringing things over to the right and dropping them in. He does uh, different phases, and it's like uh, two times for each phase. So this is the phase here where he does these flame fists. And uh, we need to survive 30 seconds during this. So just stay in the middle here and just keep running around while he does this. After finishing that objective, just go over here. You press the button. That's how you get the next thing to drop. And yeah, you just keep bringing them over and just keep dropping them. And then he'll go through the different phases. Um, after doing the second one of the flame fist, you want to run to the bottom right after it opens up. And uh, that's how you get hit by the outhouse right in this corner. I actually fell off the edge right by the outhouse and it still gave it to me, so even if it doesn't land on you, you could probably still get it. Then the last objective, we have to throw something at him. You can only throw this, the hidden console, which drops down in the second phase of this part. 
So just take this and then throw it at them. After you throw it at them, of course it will come back and then you can uh, grab it and uh, drop it down. There's one part in this that's kind of annoying and that's just getting past these lasers with the tube. It's a little annoying, but once you uh, get it down and get a feel for it, it's not that bad after a while. But yeah, after you uh, finally kill him, you're going to be in this other part and there's actually one more mailbox here. And that's going to be it. You have uh, some other extra levels to play for the 111%. They're very easy. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helps you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. Oh.